Italy will officially launch a campaign to unshackle itself from the EU on Thursday as the Mediterranean country looks to follow in Britain's Brexit footsteps. The EU has another crisis on its hands after Italian politician Gianluigi Paragon, a former senator for the anti-establishment Five Star Movement, said it was time for Italy to launch its Italexit campaign No Europe for Italy on Thursday July 23. He said Italy would no longer be blackmailed by the Brussels bloc. He said, this is the way forward. We can no longer be blackmailed by tax havens that allow themselves to offend the great prestige of Italy. For this reason, on July 23, at 10 a.m., in the press room of the Chamber of Deputies, I will officially launch my party for a talexit, presenting the name and logo. Mr. Paragon is hoping to capitalize on anti-EU sentiment in the wake of the coronavirus pandemic. The politician has announced the launch of a single-issue party much like the Brexit party, to push for Italy's departure from the EU. He is hoping to force a new debate over a potential Ital exit, as anti-EU sentiment starts to build in the country. Many Italians felt abandoned by the bloc during the height of the coronavirus pandemic, as the country soon became Europe's epicenter and was ravaged by the killer virus. He also revealed he has met with Brexit party leader Nigel Farage to discuss Brexit and get advice on unshackling his own nation from the EU cage. He said, I met Nigel Farage, leader of the Brexit party in London, who triumphed in the British referendum by bringing the United Kingdom out of the European Union cage. A true British patriot, the only one who sent away the technocrats from Brussels. I confronted him on the present and future of a truly sovereign country which, even more so after Brexit, is able to give real answers to citizens in the midst of the post-COVID economic crisis. It comes after Italian Prime Minister Giuseppe Conte warned that the EU's very existence would be under threat if countries could not pull together to combat the COVID-19 pandemic. He told the Financial Times newspaper that monetary policies alone would not resolve the issue.